Today we have a class metabolic conditioning or strength and conditioning for the equipment that we're going to be needing is pair of dumbbells. Now, how heavy we go depends on the exercises we're going to be doing. So, for example, if we have overhead press, side raises or flies, we're probably going to choose 10% of our body weight. So, if you're 60 kgs, it's going to be 6 on each side. If we have some kind of a row, that's where we can press heavier as well, like for the legs, then we're going to aim maybe 20 to 30% our body weight so we can double the amount that we're pressing and flying with. Next thing we're going to need, we're going to find something that can slide on the ground. Okay, so it can be boat sliders. So they are really cheap if you want to get for yourself once we are doing this later on. Uh, we can get the sliders. We're going to need, we're not going to need them for today's session. So sliders, uh, if you don't have them, you can use towel, kitchen towel, maybe pillows, bed sheet, something that can slide on the surface below you. If you have a carpet below you, you can also take maybe uh, newspapers or magazines. And some form of bench. If you don't have a bench, we can use the chair, any kind of a chair. We're going to push it to wall so it doesn't slide away from us. Okay, so let's get going with our mobility. Usually, first thing we do, we're going to mobilize. So we're going to drop down in our deep split squat as low as we can go, push the knees over toes, nice and upright, and maybe we can cover a few things. I wrote down some of the questions I got asked, so we can cover the form and why are we doing what we're doing, which exercises, what are we targeting with. And then we're going to push back, straight leg, and bend over. So we have strength and conditioning class, meaning we target different energy system from anaerobic to aerobic. We have different aerobic, different anaerobic. I don't want to go too much into energy system usage, but just for you to know, we're going to build from anaerobic to aerobic. Then we're going to switch sides, same thing opposite. Obviously, we have to do on both sides. So knee over toes. Also, today we're going to cover strength block, time intervals. We're going to cover tempo training as many rounds as possible. We're going to cover every minute on a minute, high intensity training. So get to know all of the exercises. Focusing on the form, we're going to use basic movements just to get to know them. And I'm going to give you a few cues once we start how to engage properly core, shoulders and everything. Okay, next one, we're going to stretch by dropping down in our deep squat. From our deep squat, slightly swing the hips left and right. Try to be as upright as you can. Okay, gently left and right. And then we're going to push the knee over toes, so push more to one side and back. Before we start with our workout, first thing we mobilize, then we're going to cover a few cues that we need to keep an eye on. Shoulders, core and legs. That's our main thing when we are exercising. Next one, we're going to take left arm, right ankle and light rotation. One side and then we switch. Two and switch. Three four, five, and six. Okay, what are the main cues that we need to keep an eye on? Let's go up and just try to work with me. First thing, shoulders behind, chest up. Every exercise we're doing, we want to have the chest up, shoulders behind, or your shoulder blades, those are these triangle bones, we want to put them down in the pocket. So, nice and upright. Next thing, tight core. When we talk about core, we talk about the whole barrel around us. Strong, squeeze, think like someone wants to punch you in the stomach. First thing you do, huh, you get everything tight. So we want to keep this tightness, whatever we're doing. Overhead press, tight core. If we have weak core, we're going to be swinging. RDLs and bent over roll. If we have tight core, if we have weak core, we'll be swinging. Okay, so always tight core. Feet, think of them like a tripod. We have three points of contact. All three points strong in the ground. Jam your big toe so weight is evenly dispersed. Okay, so these are our main cues. I'll start setting up the time and we're gonna bring the heart rate slightly up. So we're gonna start skipping on the spot, nice and easy, soft on the toes. Then we're gonna take our arms and go in a big circle front like we are swimming butterflies. So get a good stretch in your shoulders. And again, make sure you keep your core tight, chest up, and a bit backwards, same thing. Control. Now, we're not going to spend too much time on 
bringing up the heart rate because the first block is going to be strength. Next one, we're going to resume skipping and then we go front and just light squat down. Few skips in between and again, light squat down. Few skips in between, squat. First one we're going to do later on, you'll see, is going to be our strength block for the legs. Squat down, shake. Next one, we go in a few jumping jacks. Up and down. Two, one, and shake. Okay, time is on. We have 30 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, okay? First block, three exercises. So let's do them together and make sure to keep in mind tight core, chest up, feet strong in the ground. What we're gonna use for the legs, again, weight depends on the dumbbells you have. Maybe we can go slightly heavier because we are doing legs, okay? So, time is on. First exercise, we do squats. Let's work together. So, we're gonna place goblet position, feet wide, and we start slow, controlled. Up and down, all the way. One of the main movements that we're gonna be doing is our squat. So, all the way down. Keep your back straight, keep the core tight. Chest up. Don't cut the movement, don't do pulses. We are going all the way down. And three, two, one, and shake. Now again, it's all about the movement. Doesn't matter how we overload. We can also hold here for the squat. We can hold front rack, okay? Next one, we go into RDL. So let's work together, feet together. We're gonna push the hips behind and up. Make sure your back are nice and upright. Core is tight. Chest up, push the hips behind, strong feet in the ground, jam your big toe. So what I want you here is for your glutes to be pointing up in the ceiling, two, one, and shake. Next one, we go in the glute bridges. So down on the ground, heels close, feet straight in front, hip width. And we're gonna start bringing the hips as high as we can and down. And keep working, listen to my cues. Push through the heels. If you're using dumbbell, you can place the dumbbell on the hips. It's gonna make the exercise slightly harder. Hips as high as we can. Cramp your hamstrings, glutes. Control the movement, two. One, and relax. We go up into squats. That's our, those are our three exercises. I'll show you different ways we can hold the dumbbells. Maybe front rack here. We do the squats. Let's start. Slow control down. Knees are pointing out. So we have front rack position with the dumbbells. We can do the goblet position. Again, it's about the movement, not the way we overload the movement. Control it down. Don't just drop in the squat, so tight core, chest up. Focus on the form, on the tempo, on the control, and shake. We go into RDLs next. You might ask, why are we doing time frame? Okay, we're gonna start in three, two, one, hip hinges. Hips behind, stretch the hamstring, stand back up. Keep the back straight. Why are we doing time? and not the repetitions. Okay, we all have different fitness level. So if you want to squeeze more reps in 30 seconds, if you have better fitness, you're gonna go faster. If you have lower, you can slow it down. So it's up to you how fast you go. We are in a strength, so we're not just rushing fast. More control and shake. We go down on the ground into glute bridges, round two. Five to go, three, two, one, and hips nice and high through the heels. That's our first block. You'll see around 30 minutes strength, and then we push a bit more into cardio. We're gonna try all the main movements and the combination of all. So strength block, controlled, push through the heels, hips as high as you can. Finishing round two in three, two, one.
shake. We go straight up into our squats. Few main cues about the squat. Two, one, feet strong in the ground. Knees are following the trajectory of the toes. If you look down, you should be able to see your big toe. Have a look down. This means the knees aren't caving inside. <laughs> Open them up. And again, go all the way. All the way. Usually we'll, do, we'll be doing three sets of each exercise. Squat, main exercise. Two, one, shake. Hip hinges, RDLs, Romanian deadlifts, however you call them. Three, two, one, off we go. Hips behind, knee straight over ankle. Go as low as you can, get a good stretch in the hamstrings. This is why we aren't stretching for the cool down. We are stretching whenever we're doing the exercises, aiming for the full range of motion. All the way down, strong feet in the ground. Don't go on the toes up. Back nice and straight. Two, one. Shake, we go in the glute bridges. Five. Two, one. Off we go. Control. If you're using dumbbell, dumbbell on the hips makes it slightly harder. How heavy you go again depends on your fitness level, but we can go somewhere around 20% our body weight, 20, 30. Almost there. Two, one, shake, break. Okay, that's it. Next block, we're gonna go into upper body. Okay, for the upper body, we're gonna do three exercises. For these ones, we'll need our bench. Okay, so bench, chair, bring it in close, whatever you have. Okay, so push-ups, bent over row, pull over. Let's prepare our dumbbells. Push-ups, we have a body weight exercise. Let's cover it. Again, one of the main movements. We need to be able to do it. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. Chest in the ground. From here, hands next to shoulders, just below. And we go. Same time, push the chest and hips. If you're struggling, if you're lagging, you're gonna be doing it from the knees. And again, same time, chest and hips up. Keep that core really tight. 30 degrees elbow. Don't flare it out in 90. Nice low. If you're struggling from the knees, we can do it quadrupled, forehead in the ground. Three different variations. Two, one, shake. We got three different variations for the push-ups. We're gonna take heavier dumbbells. We were doing our RDLs. Let's go in a bent over row. Bent over position and roll. Hold that low position, point the elbow behind. Keep it close. Main thing for the row, chest up. Think like you're holding the pen in your armpits. Keep working. You're holding the pen strong. Don't let that pen drop, all right? If you drop your shoulder, the pen drops down. Newspapers, same thing. Strong in the lats. Two, one, shake. Next one, we go into pullover. We're gonna take that bench, lay down shoulders on and from here good stretch down and pull in front slightly bend the elbow don't hyper extend your arms don't lock it behind good good stretch pull to chest stretch and back in the chest again strength block control the movement Two, one, and shake. We position the dumbbell between thumb and index finger. We go back in the push-up when we're doing the bent over. Okay, push-ups, you know how we're doing. From the feet, if you can, if you're not lagging with the hips from feet, if it's troubling you, 
from knees. We can also do from the quadruple position. Again, whichever position you like, from your bench, also an option. Choose one you can do for 30 seconds. Two, shake. That's one of the main movements, so we gotta be able to do it, no matter which variation we choose. Bent over roll, two, heavy dumbbells, feet down, all the way to ground. Uh, all the way, parallel, keep working, parallel with the ground. Notice my trunk, it's parallel. Chest up, tight core. Keep your back straight, point the elbow behind. This is our bent over close row. Same thing, one of the main movements. Two, and shake. Next one, pullovers. Let's get ready. Down, and good stretch. Bring the dumbbell in the middle. Choose one heavier. Now, you can do with two, but for now, focus on one. Again, learn how to properly feel the muscle you're working. Here, we are working on the triceps and on the lats, a bit of chest. Good, good stretch on the tricep, pull from the lats and shake. Push-ups, last round, two, one. Now you know, give it a try. You'll know for the next session that is incoming, how you're gonna do your push-ups. From the feet, tight core, chest and hips at the same time, press. Here, we are working on our chest, on our tricep and front shoulder. Inhale down, exhale up and shake. Bent over row. Heavy dumbbells. Hinge down, chest up, and pull. Control. Remember, don't pull from the back. Keep the back straight. Strong core, lats engaged. Hold that newspapers in your armpits. Jam your big toe in the ground. Remember that tripod position. Keep the core tight. And shake. All right. Next one. Last one, pullovers. Two. Off we go. Simple movement, but effective. Good, good stretch. Pull. On our rows, we were working biceps and back. On the push-up, chest and triceps. Here, lats and triceps. Full body covered. And shake. We covered full body inside, uh, full upper body inside three exercises. Catch a breather. Okay, we go into legs. Let me just see which exercises we prepared for the legs. We got split squats, left and right. We got bent over wide row, side raises. Alrighty. So we're gonna have full body block strength. So first block was lower body. Next block was upper body. Now we're gonna mix full body, okay? Three exercises. But for the split squats, we're going to be doing left and right side. Okay, what are we going to need? Either one heavy dumbbell for the split squats and a pair of lighter dumbbells for the side raises. Okay, so let's get ready. Now, if you have two dumbbells, lighter ones, let me show you split squats. Again, think of the movement. Split position, one foot in front, one foot behind, back heel up, from here, we're gonna go 
straight down in the ground, stand back up. So I'm holding my dumbbells in a suitcase position. I can also hold them in a goblet. Front leg, nice and straight. Jam your big toe over the front foot in ground. Knee down, hop straight legs. Three, two, one, shake. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. Same thing, don't be too close, don't be too far behind. Good strong position, from here, down and up. Focus on a back leg. That's the working leg. Front foot strong in the ground. Don't lose the balance. Keep the core tight. Keep the chest up or shoulders behind. Three, two, one. Shake again. One of the main movements from, for the legs. Next one, bent over wide row. Keep these light dumbbells. Bent over position. Now we're gonna go in a wide row. First one we were doing close. That was this one. Now point the elbow behind. And same thing, low towards the ground, almost parallel. 10 seconds to go, keep working. Elbows wide. Almost there, three. Two, one, shake, keep them dumbbells. If they are lighter, we're gonna go in a side raise, lateral raise for the shoulder. One, and again, tight core, nice and strong. Slightly bend the elbow. Go to shoulder height. Dumbbells are pointing slightly up. Don't spill the water. If you had a, a bottle of water, don't spill the water down. Hold it up. Under angle. Two, one, shake. And back we go into our split squats. Choose one side, weight, body weight, it's up to you. Off we go. Down and up. If you're feeling too much burn, Get rid of the dumbbells, just keep working. Feet slightly wide, don't be in line. Focus going straight down below. Tap the knee in the ground, bring it back up. Don't rest on the ground. Two, one, nice work, shake, switch sides. Back heel up on the toes and down and up. Back upright, chest up from side. Don't be down here. Aim for this 90 degree in your knees. Straight down and up. Don't push too much the front. So hop, straight down. Two, and shake. Ooh, nice block. Bent over wide row. Three, hinge down, chest up, and wide. Again, don't let the dumbbells pull your shoulders down. Keep the core tight. Always think about chest and shoulders, core, and feet, chest up, core tight, feet in the ground, no swing, two, shake, Ooh, nice one, and we go in a side raise, for the mid shoulder, mid delt, two, one, off we go, shoulder height, tight core, meaning, no swinging to pull them up. If we start feeling too much burn, get rid of the dumbbells. Do the movement body weight. Shake. 
few more seconds. Three, two, one, shake. Okay, last round. At least for this block. Split position, two, one. And again, you might ask, why don't I have dumbbells? So, we are thinking about the movement, we're focusing on the form, rather than the way we are overloading. Goblet position, suitcase, all the same. Feet nice and wide. It's easier for me to show you. 90 degrees in the knees. Straight legs. Tight core. Chest up. Two. Shake. Switch sides. Let's finish with our splits. We should feel the quads of the back leg burning. Down we go. If you feel it in the front leg, it means you're pushing too much the front. So focus on more going down. Knee in the ground. Same rules apply. Chest up. Core tight. Foot in the ground. Jam your big toe. Almost there. Two. Shake. Oof. Bent over wide row. Last round. Hinge down. Back straight. Point the elbow as far back as you can. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Keep the core tight. Nice work. That's a good form. Almost there. Two. And shake. Split squats are working our quads. Bent over row. Back delt and traps. And we go in the last one. Side raise for the shoulder. Let's start. Remember, don't spill the water. Keep the bottle up. Keep that core tight. Shoulder height. Slightly bent elbow. Five. Three. Two. One. Shake. Let's take a light breather. Relax. I set the timer. We go in the last block. Same thing. Full body. For the strength. Okay. So why do I say keep the core tight? If you have two cans down, if I open one can and I try to step on that one, it's gonna crush. The can that is not opened, I can almost step on it without crushing. Same thing here, tight core, whatever we're doing. Okay, next one. We're gonna need our bench for the hip thrust. So let's prepare. After that, I show you the exercises. We're gonna go into overhead press and renegade row. So we're gonna need lighter pair of dumbbells. So hip thrust, shoulders on the bench, position yourself in the M kind of a position or look. And we're gonna try from here, bringing the hips up and high. Okay, hop, let's get ready. Three, two, one, and hips up and down. How you know you're in a good position? When you're up, your knee is in 90 degree. Not too much in front, not too far back. Feet strong in the ground. Shoulders on the bench. If you're using dumbbell, we can place it next round on the hips. Pushing through the heels, similar to glute bridges. Two, one, shake, relax. Next one, we go into overhead press. We're gonna take our lighter dumbbells. Stand up nice and tall. Dumbbells on the side, tight core. Simple one, push it overhead. Hop. If we have our core tight, we're not swinging from the hips, no wiggle around. Strong core, control the movement. No push press from the knees. Remember, we are in a strength block, meaning we are working controlled manner. 
main movement, overhead press, can get more basic than this. Two, one, shake, and last one, we go in a renegade roll. Dumbbells down, on the ground, feet wide, hand plank, from here, pull, and down. What you're focusing is a close row, tight core, feet wide, don't let the hips drop down. Limit the swing, no twist when you're going up. So tight, strong core. If you're struggling, like push-ups, we can do it from the knees or quadrupled. Two, one, shake. Few different variations, similar to push-ups. Okay, we go back in a hip thrust. So, shoulders on the bench, hips up high, and down. Feet are hip width. Don't be too close with the feet. Don't be too wide. Push through the heels. Control the movement. Don't let the dumbbell bounce. Two. And shake. We go back into renegade row. No, overhead press, sorry. Light dumbbells, side raise, and press. Now you keep working. I give you a few ideas. Tight core, upright. If you have one heavy dumbbell, you can punch that heavy dumbbell. Keep working. If you have heavy kettlebell, you can push that kettlebell. Again, think of the movement, not the way we are overloading. Tight core. Three, two, woo. Nice one. Almost there. Renegade row. Hand plank. Feet wide. Pull. Keep the core tight. Limit the swing from the hips. You're like a robot pulling. If you're struggling from the knees. Still struggling quadrupled. Choose one variation you're gonna be doing during our workouts. Three, two, one, shake. Hip thrust. Last prep, straight away, and hips up. 90 degrees, when you're up in the knee. Next round, we know how we can differently overload for the overhead press. We can take one dumbbell, two dumbbells, kettlebell, doesn't matter. Same thing is with the hip thrust. We can take one dumbbell, we can stack two dumbbells on the hips, one shake and we're gonna learn how we do renegade row with only one dumbbell overhead press last round tight core almost there No swings, dumbbells on the side, straight overhead, lock your arms, don't finish here, halfway through, and shake, always full range of motion, we go in a renegade row, you know what you do if you have two dumbbells, I'll show you what you do if you have one heavy, hand plank, feet wide, pull, mid, switch, pull, mid, switch, again, it's about the movement, not the way we are overloading. Just a few ideas for you to keep an eye or keep in mind for later on. Woo, dripping sweat here. Hope is the same at your place. Two, one, shake. Woo. Take a light break. We are done with our strength block. Woo. What we did was more 
slow, controlled manner. Now, we covered some of the basic movements. We covered our squat. We covered RDLs, glute bridges. We covered our push-ups. What we have? Pullover, if you remember. Bent over, wide row, bent over, close row. Hip thrust, renegade row, overhead press, side raises. All movements were slow and controlled. Next one, we are going in a tempo training. So we won't be focusing that much on the strength. Now we want to work our heart. We want to bring the heart rate up. And we're going to start with tempo intervals. We have different modalities we're going to try today. Four different ones. From kind of a lighter towards the easier. Meaning from more kind of a aerobic towards anaerobic, lactic and glycolytic. Meaning pushing heavy. Okay? All right. Too much talk. So, we're going to do three exercises. You'll see all three of them are more dynamic than our strength block. So, let's grab the dumbbells, lighter ones, the ones we used for the overhead press. And we're going to start in 10 seconds. We got 30 seconds work. Okay, what we do? Squat, overhead press. Now, let's start. Let's combine our squats with the overhead press. When we want to work on the cardio, we got to use more momentum-based exercises. Okay? How fast you go depends on your fitness level. Use the tempo you can sustain. If you need, you can slow it down. Take two seconds breather between reps. Just make sure to keep up. Three, two, one, shake. We want to keep our heart rate somewhere at 80%. Hold the dumbbells. Next one, hinge, row, stand back up. Three, two, one. Let's start. We were doing our RDLs. We were doing bent over rows. Now, you know what we did now. You figured it out. So we combined them. Again, more dynamic movement. Pushes the heart rate up. Not too fast, meaning we got to sustain our activity. That's our key. If you need, you can slow it down. Remember, we all have different fitness levels. And shake. Last one, we go in the sit-ups. We're going to sit down on the ground. Feet together. Spread the knees. Down. Tap the ground. Tap in front feet. Start working. Feet tap back. Remember, crunch when you go up round your back don't go with the straight back up no no round the back fight so engage your core first to push you up those are our three exercises we're gonna two one we repeat them meaning we go up take your lighter dumbbells we go in the thrusters squat with the overhead press one off we go. That's our round two. We got three rounds to go. If you feel that the first round is light, that you can keep it up, no bother. Then you can speed up the tempo. Also, what you can do, you can go slightly faster. Then towards the end, slow it down. I don't want you to crash. I want you to keep working, sustain the activity. Back straight and shake. All the rules apply, what we did, back straight, knees out, tight core, okay? We go in a hinge and row, feet together. Hinge, close row, stand back up. Same rules, back straight, knee over toes when we hinge, uh, sorry, knee over just above the ankle when we hinge. Chest up, holding the newspapers. Three, shake, and sit-ups, three, two, feet together, spread the knees, up 
and down. Swing the arms a bit to help yourself. So as you see, we are using momentum. When we are doing conditioning, we are using momentum and as much muscles as we can. So we prefer full body movement, combination of that basics one we did in the first strength block, two, one, shake. We go back into thruster. Just an idea. You remember one heavy dumbbell. Off we go, let's start. Squat and punch. We can do with one dumbbell. Again, it's about the movements, not the way we overload. Back, upright. We are in our tempo training. We keep the heart rate around 80%. Sustain the activity. Interval blocks, meaning we have work time, we have rest time. Three, two, shake. Hinge and roll. Five to go. Feet together. Hip width, toes in front. Hinge, roll. All rules apply. Chest up. Jam your big toe in the ground. Don't go with the toes up. Evenly distribute the weight throughout the whole foot. Almost there. Two. And shake. Last round of sit-ups on the ground. Three, two, one. Off we go. Tap back, tap in front. Last one in our tempo interval. Next one we go as many rounds as possible in four minutes. I'll explain what does it mean. Three, one, shake. Okay, catch a breather. Small one. Opa. Okay, as many rounds as possible. We're gonna have four minutes. So I'll set the time for four minutes work. Our goal is to do 10 jump squats. <laughs> But remember, when you do, we did squats, so now we just explode up again, more power. We are in our cardio training. After this, we're going to go in a twist. So you got to do 10 jump squats, 10 twists on each side. One, two, three. We can use some dumbbells as well. I'll explain. And we're going to do 10 snatches. Take a heavier dumbbell on the ground, punch it overhead, and again, I'll guide you. Now, your goal is going to be to count your reps. I count mine reps. I'll try to so you can catch me so you don't wait until what you have to do. Remember, you don't have to do my tempo, okay? Different fitness level. We got four minutes, 10 jump squats, 10 twists each side. That's 20 in total, 10 snatches, five each side. Okay. It's gonna be slightly harder than the previous set. We're gonna start in three, two, one, off we go. We got 10 jump squats, count your reps. All the way down, knees out, tight core, back upright, drop down, count 10. Then you can take dumbbell, we go in a 20 twists, 10 each side, count your reps. And again, I might speed up just so you can see what's next. We got feet up, twist from the trunk. Once we are done, leave the dumbbell in the middle. Then pull it close, elbow first, punch it overhead, down and switch, 10 reps, five each side. Snatches, dumbbell close. And again, you can see we have momentum-based exercises for our cardio. 
dumbbell straight above you. Count your reps. 10, 20, 10, and as many rounds as possible. Just roll through the exercises. Once you're done with the snatches, we go back into jump squat. One, once 10 jump squats are done, we go in a Russian twist. Feet up, 20 reps. <coughs> Sorry. And again, if you need, you can slow it down. Don't crash on me, just sustain the activity. That's your main goal. I've heard too much times, oh, it's too hard for me. It's not too hard. You are pushing yourself too hard. Just slow it down and keep on working. Catch a breather, catch a second between your reps. If you need two, one, slow it down. Snatches, elbow first, keep the dumbbell close, punch it overhead, push from the feet up, always keep your back straight, core tight, 10 snatches, back in the 10 jump squats, we have one minute to go. Soft land, down. Think of your feet as the springs. Woohoo, soft. Feel when you tap the ground, then drop down. Russian twist, feet up. If you're struggling, we can rest the feet on the ground. Just keep on moving. 20 reps, 10 each side. Almost there. Fifteen seconds. Don't stop. Work till end. As many rounds as possible. And relax. Nice work. Our block is done. At least this one. Next one we're gonna go every minute on a minute. Meaning, we take our timer so, we have odd minute, that's the first and the third. We have even minute, that's the second and the fourth. On odd minute, we have one minute to do uh, 10 squat to lunge. Squat in a lunge, right? 10 of them. Once we do, we're gonna rest till one minute runs out. Sooner we do, more rest we have. After this, on an even minute, we're gonna do swings. Dumbbell in between index and middle finger. And we're gonna swing the, you remember our hip hinges, our RDLs. Our swings are the RDLs, not the squat. And 20 jumping jacks. Okay, too much talk, let's start working. On my mark, we gotta do 10, Squat in a lunge. That's one rep. Let's get ready. Three, two, one. Off we go. Squat, lunge. That's one rep. You don't have to go as fast as me. You can slow it down. If you don't make it to 10, I'll let you know when to rest. Knee down in the ground. Knees 45 degrees. Count your 10 reps. Don't count mine. Ten. 
If you haven't finished, you're gonna take a rest now. Take 10 seconds. Grab the big dumbbell in between index and middle finger. And we're gonna go into 10, 15 swings. Now, one, count your reps. Fifteen. Once you're done with fifteen swings, we go in the twenty jumping jacks in the same minute. You keep working on your own tempo. I'm speeding up so I can show you. If you haven't finished, relax now. Take 10 seconds. That's odd, that's even. First one is odd, next mean even. Let's repeat, squat in the lunge. Three, two. We gotta do 10 reps, squat, lunge. That's one rep. Remember your own tempo. You don't have to go into mine. Knee in the ground, drop down in your squat. Back straight, all rules apply. Feet strong in the ground when you squat. Core as tight as you can. Limit that swing. If you don't make it to 10, I'm gonna let you know when to rest. And that's now. Catch a breather. We go into 15 swings. Just an idea, if you have a kettlebell, we can go in a kettlebell swings. Three, two, one. Off we go, 15. Hinge from the hips. Don't push the knees to front. Hips back. Once 15 swings are done, we go into 20 jumping jacks. Higher intensity than both previous conditioning. If you need, slow it down. Finishing soon. Three, two, one. If you haven't done it, finish now, doesn't matter. Take a light breather. Okay, we got covered. What we covered up until now? Strength block, tempo intervals on time, as many rounds as possible. Every minute on a minute, that was the last one. For the finisher, we're gonna leave high intensity training, okay? high intensity we take really short interval 10 seconds work 15 seconds break so we want to go as fast as we can rest of the energy you have use it now okay i'm going to give you a few options for the exercises we can use high knees we can use mountain climbers for from the chair we can use mountain climbers from the ground whichever one you want high knees mountain climbers chair mountain climbers from the ground okay so i'm gonna go mountain climbers from the ground you choose which one i'll be guiding for the climbers from the ground if you are doing let's prepare if you're doing high knees kick that knee as high as you can be upright let's get ready three two one off we go as fast as we can run run high intensity yes you want to spike the two, one, shake. You want to spike the heart rate as high up as you can. When you're doing the mountain climbers from the ground, stack your shoulder, elbow, wrist in a straight line. Straight hips. Don't be up in a pike. Two, one, off we go. We got 10 seconds work. 
15 seconds break. Three, two, one, shake. Catch your breath. Woo. Let's finish up eight rounds. And that's it, last one. Three, two, one, off we go. Fast, fast. Three, two, one, shake. Oh. Deep breath in, deep breath out. High intensity interval training. We need one exercise that can spike the heart rate. One, and start. Best one is our mountain climbers and high knees. That's really high intensity. Two, one, shake. Since we don't have any machines, cardio, we use these ones. Catch a breather. Breather, five, three, two, one, finish. Finishing soon. Fast, fast, bam, bam, as fast as you can. Two, shake, breath, whoa. Five, three, two, one. Fast. One, shake. All about power explosiveness. Two more rounds. Three, two, one. Off we go. You can also switch between these three exercises just to keep it, keep able to, one, shake. Just to be able to finish, you can switch between exercises. Just keep up. If you need, slow it down. Remember, sustainability is the key. Three, two, last 10 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. 55 minutes behind us. Work. Last five, three, shake, nice, big breath in, big breath out, relax, and we're gonna go in a light cool down, light stretch, one question I got asked is why don't we stretch or cool down for longer, okay, first of all, Main thing when we start is properly to warm up. Ooh. Okay, light stretch. Hand over head, pull from the elbow. Stretch your tricep. Main thing when we start is to properly warm up. Why we don't spend so much time on cooling down and stretching and switch sides. If we are doing the exercises properly, we are stretching through the exercises. So there is no reason for us to spend more time on the stretch. Okay, because, and relax. Next one, one arm across, pull from the shoulder. Hold it there. Remember, remember our hinges. We are stretching our quad, uh, hamstrings. Remember our squats. We are stretching our quads. Switch sides, same thing opposite. So no reason to stretch additionally, because when we are training, we have stretches under tension if we go in a full range of motion. Also down, hop. Notice the glutes. What are they? They're stretched. Easy down, okay. One foot in front, gently switch down. Maybe you can reach for the toes and slightly pull the foot left and right. So we only spend a few minutes just slightly to bring the heart rate down. Also, I am assuming, let's switch sides, that you're not gonna go now straight into bed You'll probably walk around and do something, and that's gonna be your cool down as well. So, we don't need to spend too much time. It's better to spend time pushing the heart rate up than stretching and cooling down. Okay, we're gonna support ourselves, grab the foot from behind, heel in the glutes, knees pointing down, try to be upright as much as you can. Also, if you tomorrow 
feel tight in your muscles. Better stretch them then than now. Because your stretching is building hypertrophy, building muscle, not building hypertrophy. Hypertrophy is muscle build, building. So the muscles can get stronger through the stretch. We're gonna switch sides, same thing opposite. The muscles can get stronger through the stretching. If we spend more time additionally on the stretch, we're just losing the strength for our workout. That's why we just mobilize in the beginning. So as I said, it's better to stretch the day after. You're gonna loosen up much more. Okay, relax. Give yourself a round of applause. Nice work, okay? A lot of stuff we covered today. I hope some of this is gonna stay in our head once we start with our training. And again, I'll guide you through the cues once we get going. So that would be all up until next time. Stay healthy and active. Cheers and bye.